WAT Mocking to your instant match reaction here at Bristol Station. Finish the Ashton Gate, Bristol City 1, Watford 1. Really, really tough game. And I would say on the balance of things, it's probably a point game for Watford. Um, obviously, we, we, we get battered by Bristol City a few weeks ago at the Crow Drone on Boxing Day. So, it was, the performance at least was a huge improvement on what we saw there. It's absolutely freezing, by the way, I must say. Um, first off, absolutely amazing atmosphere in the away today. I think it was close to sold out from the bit that we got. Um, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. I think everyone's sort of recognising now that we're going in the right direction. Um, and we're seeing that from the away followings and the, the atmosphere and support that the team getting from away games as well. So, yeah, really, really pleasing to see that. Um, in terms of changes from the lineup, I think there were three in there. Porteous came back into the side. Um, Rivic came back into the side. I can't remember what's on my head of what the final one was, to be honest with you. Um, but the game started quite well for Watford. We got our first penalty in over a year. Tom Deli Bashiru dispatched it. Brilliant penalty right into the uh, just out of the keeper's reach. As a yeah, really good penalty from him. Um, but Watford then gave away a really poor goal. Scott Twine on his debut for Bristol City. Heyman made a really good save, but uh, Twine managed to get. I think it was Budget Livermore who was getting brilliant reception from the away throughout the game um, and was able just to head at home. So yeah, frustrating goal to give away. I think the rest of the game was it was pretty even. Um, both teams cancelled cancelled each other out. I don't think either team played amazingly, to be honest with you. But um, that's why I think on the balance of things, the point was probably a fair result for both teams. The frustrating thing for me, I think if Watford were a tiny, tiny bit better, I think the points were there for us, to be honest with you. We didn't create too much in the second half. Chat for Tatsy had a shot, Ryan Andrews had a shot, got some good crossing <laughs> positions. Back in Bayo came back into the fold, but we didn't create anything too clear cut. Towards the end, uh, Ben Hayman made a brilliant save right at the end, so fair play for him to him again for winning us some points there, I suppose. But yeah, look, it's a good point, like I said, improvement on what we saw against Bristol City the other week. Um, and uh, yeah, a couple of weeks off the league now, uh, back into on cup action next week against Southampton at home, which be a tough game they won today again they're unbeaten in something like 20 games now so that'll be a really difficult one against okay, Russell Mars inside in check to see how many changes we make for that as well because obviously we've really Healy gone now the squad's even smaller um, and then Mount Lewis are gone as well so not too much room to rotate we're back in league action I think it's against Sheffield Wednesday or Cardiff so looking forward to that make sure to like and subscribe we'll be back for another video soon to break down the Bristol City game a bit more see you soon I'll see you all next